Oliver, you, you've been trying a while now. What age are you now? 15 now. Oh, very good. And uh, But you're not from here. We're in Cornwall. Where are you from? Lake District. Where's that? Just like Cumbria area. Very. What, what big town will be near you? What city? Where the farm is. We're about an hour and a half from like Kendall area. You were nearly winning yesterday, you'd take him with your dog. What dog is that that you're running? Have you got him long? That's my new dog, Gary. That was the third time out with Gary. He's going to be a third dog, yeah. I was looking at him this morning there, lifting and coming down the field, and he's very nice. But I was enjoying the way you were handling, too. You were nice and calm and cool and all. Who, who do you see, like, who influenced your handling? Or did Ross help you, your dad help you? Or well, who? to be fair, it's a bit part of everybody, to be fair. Like, Kevin's helped me a lot. Dad's helped me a lot. So... Yeah. When you when you see handlers, like who do you like to watch? Who, who whose style do you like, or who would you like to be like? Well, Kevin's like the master class, and yeah. you know he manages to make every run look uniform, doesn't he? Like so, he's probably the person you look up to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then I heard you saying something earlier there that you kind of put the dog together a bit like a jigsaw. And all. What do you mean with that? Well, like you keep putting bits in, and then you lose a bit. And you're finding another bit, but it's, it's a shame with breeding pedigree sheep, you, you add your pieces in hope that one day it'll all come together. But if it does, it's very different, isn't it? Yeah. And I saw you yesterday there and you were penning with Gary and you had a gun run up, but it just wasn't opening enough on his flanks. And, well, at the pen and that. Yeah. How will you how will you adjust him there, the pen? How will you get him to be a bit cleaner? What will you do? we just training, isn't it? Like... We've been busy lambing, so the dogs aren't really running at 100%. So we just need to train them to, when you say get out, they get out and yeah. give the sheep a bit more space. Yeah. And with commands on dogs, do you have any special commands there, just regular commands, or do you have, like, get out commands, or what do you think about that? Well, I'm putting Gary on, like, get out commands, but I got him I got him off Dad, who got him off Jed, Jed yes. Watson, and he had him on them, but... He's kind of like drifted away from them, so they to put back on them now. Yeah, yeah. And what's coming up for you now? Are you going to deer play in a couple of weeks? Going we'll see to there. deer play, shab fest. Looking what? forward to the world. Oh, you're going down to shab fest. Shab yeah. fest would be nice now. Looking forward to the world. Yes. And is this your this like your 15? This must be your first time in the world, is it? Oh yeah, first time in the world. And wh have you been a young handler before in the international? No. Never been to the international as a young handler. Yeah, well, there's 15, there's plenty of time left anyway. There but is. you're getting a bit too good for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the World Trial, uh, you're just a regular team member in the World Trial. You're not a young handler or anything. No, I'm in the young handler in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I went to the national, and there was me and young Will Carter. Yes. I come first and second with Stripe and Jet. Jet come first, like in the young handlers national. And then they come up to me and Charlie Dumbarton and asked us if we would both run in the World Trials, so... Yeah, and uh, yeah, I've seen Charlie before in, in deer play and he's a serious fella, and I've seen Will here yesterday and he's yeah. very smooth too. Um, yeah, so you're looking forward to coming over to us and having a spin on Blackies. You must meet Blackies sometimes when you go trialling, do you? Nearest thing we've got to Blackies is swales, probably. Oh, they're, yeah. they're a different kettle of fish, like, yeah. Your Blackies are unforgiving, aren't they? You know? So bit nervous really for the world yeah you try and get a bit of practice in somewhere and a few of them the the swales are a bit different i think because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah i wouldn't understand how to work swales that well I, if the shoe was on the other foot now i'd be looking for some swales to practice yeah, that's with. It. um and then the national this year well, have you got two dogs for that or one so i'm fully pointed with sally yeah my old bitch i'm down here trying to get pointed with gary so i got second yesterday trying to get something else today yeah because just well, crossed. time is getting short now. It'd be That's nice it. to pick up something else this afternoon. Yeah. And uh, you're just unfortunate down that other field this morning. That was starting to shape up and do a nice run. Oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> but that's how it goes here, isn't it? Yesterday, sheep were particularly difficult yesterday, weren't they? Yeah. Like yesterday, it really showed the good dogs from the bad, didn't it? Yeah. You know, the sheep, sheep are unforgiving down here. And so I know your dad Ross is an auctioneer. Do you ever do a bit of auctioneer? And I think I saw you doing a bit there in, in Deer Play one year there, selling a bit of stuff afterwards. Yeah, do a bit of auctioneering. I won the um, Winter, Royal Welsh Winter Fair, Young Auctioneer of the Year. Um, yeah, do a bit of that, go to the market sometimes, sell old jowls and 
Yeah, um, is, is that something you'd like to do? Do you know what you want to do now when you leave school? or? Well, it's something to fall back on, isn't it? Because you can't rely on the dog job and the pedigree job to get you through life, so that I would think the auctioneer will be like my backup, you know? Yeah, the auctioneer would be nice too. It'd be just a couple of days a week. You wouldn't That's be busy it. with it all the time. You still have time for other stuff. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you and Ross, you get around, you travel a nice bit there. Uh, oh, here comes Tony Rolf. Well, come here, listen, mister. Thanks for doing that. We'll wrap it up. Yeah.